What's going on there, everybody, and welcome back to some more trucking with iVision. We are loaded up and ready to go. We got this nice little tractor here that we are taking to Lamar uh, from El Amosa here. So 220 some miles, 229. So El Amosa over here to a Lamar, which is exactly what we said would happen. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, it's a little bit of a journey here, but it should be all right. So hopefully we'll we'll make good time on it. Uh, it's about one o'clock, so hopefully we'll be we'll be good. Here, clock says twelve fifteen. Let's see, is that accurate? Twelve fifteen it is. So yeah, so we're gonna get cruising, get out of here, out of this beautiful yard. I like that it's that we're coming out of here like this. It's so nice. It's a short little trailer, not a. A super long one, which is also nice. Here, we'll just kind of zip around the yard. Look at that beautiful tractor. I think it looks nice. What we got there? It is a Case IH Steger 600. There we go. That is what we got. Really big fancy name for that thing. Look at that. It does say 600 on the side though. So, and it does say Case. So that's beautiful. And we got it from the Cat. Uh, cat shop here. We're gonna call it the cat shop. Oh yeah, it's, it's, there's the cat. It's like their little little service depot there. So that's all good. Let's get it going out of here. Little side street here. Got some good old working class citizens. There we go. Don't need that mine anymore. Now uh, this small little town here. There is a garage though here, which is interesting. For for a small town that they've got a uh, a truck truck garage for you. So if you'd like to purchase that, that is down this road over there, and there it is. So interesting, that's for sure. But let's get a cruising or a trucking. But so yeah, that's where we're going. I'm telling you, I've kind of. I really want to do like another like slow relaxing simulator for you guys and uh, I really want to do some flight sim stuff I really think that'll be fun I actually I still want to do like some planet 2 stuff too I want to go back and in, back into that but it's been so long from it I gotta get back into that one uh, but definitely want to do uh, some flight sim stuff for you but definitely have some issues to work out there so that could be a while longer than I want but we'll see it's tough because I do all my stuff with a one PC. Uh, so when you do that that way, it's it's definitely tough on with some some games. And Flight Sim is is one of those, right? Because it requires so much uh, power from the gra uh, graphics card and the CPU. So then to add on a recording on top of that, it just Got some, got some issues so we're working through that hopefully we can figure that out also like so I've been doing all my stuff with Flight Sim 2020 because I actually really like that game I know it's not ultra realistic and they've got a lot of stuff they need to focus on yet and get into the game but I actually enjoy it a lot so that's what I've been doing off of and they definitely have some performance issues uh, of their own to work out and in the summer they're actually supposed to be pushing it to DirectX 12 kind of like ATS did their big push to DirectX 12 was that last two two years ago almost now. I think it was two years ago. So I don't think it was last summer. I think it was the summer before, maybe, if I remember correctly. So it's kind of kind of what Microsoft is doing. I don't know why Microsoft just didn't go right out the gate with DirectX 12, but <clears throat> they didn't. And so whatever. It is what it is. Actually, ETS isn't on DirectX 12, are they? They're on 11. Is it 11? 12. Hmm. I don't recall now. It's so long ago, and sometimes you forget some of them technical details as time goes on, you know. But, yeah, we've really only got one more city to look at, and then we are pretty much accomplished uh, with Colorado. Uh, at which point, I'm, it's kind of like I don't know what to do anymore uh, with ATS. Because the mods just aren't, aren't really there. You know, we've seen all the mods... And we can see, yeah, there's an additional truck now and then. But it's like, what else could we really do, you know, with this game? So we might back off. 
after the next city and only do like maybe one a month or two a month uh, just until new content comes out so some decisions to be made there you guys can definitely let me know in the comments what your thoughts are or what you're feeling but it would be kind of nice so you know like if we could ever get flight sim it could be like the alternate right it's like okay hey we're not getting this in but we could do flight sim something like that I don't know just kind of my thoughts as I've been going going through here thinking about things but it'd be nice to see some something new to really check out with this with this game but it's just it's tough right over time stuff just slows down stuff just slows on down here we go making our our turn with that well, I got these uh these on ramp gates I love them we have them where our uh, where I grew up for the for the highway so I'm used to seeing those now where I live currently they do not have them so Good or bad, I think it's like a good way to like easily manage traffic flows without having to send police over there to block them off or, or some other type of emergency vehicle, you know, to block them roads off. Granted, you're always going to get someone that probably will run through it, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Why are we still heading south? We should be heading east. We should be heading east to Lamar. This is a wide load. Holy cow. I guess I didn't realize how wide this load was. It's a wide, pretty wide, wide load here. But it doesn't say oversize. So this trailer actually is, uh, this one's, it should say oversize load on it at the end of the day. <clears throat> but, you know, whatever. Whatever there. Here we go. Nice, nice, beautiful day. The clouds look amazing. This game does look amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Oof. So many games look so good nowadays. And then you look at like some of the uh, the older versions or the older games, and you're just like, man, I can't go back. It's tough. It's tough to go back. Come on, baby. Oof. Stopping is always a chore. <clears throat> it would be nice, though, to see uh, SES add a little bit more uh, simulation into this game, you know. Make it so that some of these switches and stuff in inside the cab were, uh, were operable. You know, that'd be kind of neat. So where are we? What is this town? There's a fuel station there. Colorado Welcome Center. Nice. Don't hit that vehicle. Do not hit that Waze. I'm not really a, a Waze fan. You know, like, I'll eat the Waze. Uh, but uh, it's got a little too much salt for me. I, I feel like. A little too much salt. So do, like, the J's, though. The J's. The Waze and the J's. They've got, they got a little too much salt for me, too. I love Doritos, though. Oof. Those are so good. Doritos. We're going through the sun. There's a guy on that balcony there. That was cool. Person walking the, walking the road. The street. Sidewalk. Oof. I'll get there. I'll get there eventually, right? Look at this. Nice town. I like how you can see inside the buildings just enough, you know, to kind of, like, make out that, okay, it's a little bit lively up there, you know, instead of just, like, a thing. You can see the the lights there. They got the gold ceiling lights. The barber shop. You got these people here working on some road. Putting down a brick road there, maybe. That's just really cool. I like that kind of stuff, you know. Especially when you're going through these towns. Really neat. Really neat to see that stuff. Obviously, I still think they should have the uh, the viewpoints in every city. Maybe not every city, but like the major cities and towns. I think those will be 
you know, just to kind of highlight something of like, why is this town in the game but not another town? You know, that would be that'd be my thing. Uh, could you imagine though if they actually did start putting in like every city, or at least all the major cities with like say populations of like seventy-five thousand up? You know, like I think that would be kind of neat. That would definitely be. I feel like I would if I'm the development team for that. As you hire new employees that are trying to learn how to make these maps and whatnot, I would give those types of tasks to the new, the new employees. It's like, hey, okay, we're gonna start doing this, and we're gonna start with this state, and you guys get to do that. That's like your, your project one, and then like once you can do that, then it's like you know, and you, you move up the chain, then you can start working on say like actually a whole new map, and be part of that team or something. I don't know. I don't know how SES does their teams. But that's kind of how I would do it. If I was them. I mean, I do know that they usually have their new uh, people kind of work on, like, the older older states first, or older areas if you're on ETS2, and before they kind of merge over to, like, the main team, I think. So, from kind of what I've heard. So, not 100% sure if that's true, um, but that's kind of a neat little, little, neat little way to get things moving. There's another train. I love it. Union Pacific there. Right, this is a nice cruise. I like the, the time of day. It's really nice. This truck has a ton of miles. This is like one of my first trucks that I've used and had in the in the game. 75,000 miles we put on this truck. It's amazing. Now it would be really cool if at like say 200,000 or 300,000 like they could incorporate like some sort of like you know the engine breaks down a little bit more frequently or something just to show like some aging of the of the parts in the vehicle that would be just like that's some stuff that they could still add to the game to kind of help make it look a little more realistic or make it feel more realistic there's another train holy cow i love the intermodel trains they're just so awesome love them i don't really know why that guy was so another there's a, a train seer one of them little train train watchers. I actually uh this was a couple months ago. Not a couple months ago. A few weeks ago. Uh I was gotten into a new we landed at uh one of the airports and for work we usually fly charter for a lot of our stuff. And when we had gotten to where we were on the east coast, uh there was someone out there, you know, Plane spot and taking taking photos of our plane, uh, mostly because they probably don't get that kind of, that kind of plane uh, in their in their area very often. And I'm not saying the the, the plane uh, manufacturer because it was a it was a 737 is what we took, but I'm delivery on it is obviously what they don't get to see very often. So, because who hasn't seen a, a 737? You know, because we were I think. The plane that we fly is a 737-800, I believe. I believe that's what it is. It's either an 800 or a 700. Something like that. So. Uh, yes, yeah, so we fly that. And I don't know the other, other plane we fly with the other charter companies. So we use two charter companies usually. Two very different planes, obviously. One's a 737 and the other one's like a CRJ something. Or no, it's an Embraer, Embraer 145. It's, a, it's an Embraer. No, it's, I thought I think it's 145. I don't know. I should pay attention more to the uh, safety information cards that are located in the seat pocket in front of you, because they always have the uh, model of the airplane that you're on. And yeah, this other I'm pretty I know for sure the other company uses the Embraer. And then the other company uses, yeah. So we so we fly 737 and the Embraer. The two two planes that we normally fly on. Obviously the 737 seats a lot. And the Embraer seats, I want to say, 45, 60 in the configuration that they have. So, yeah. We usually take the, uh, the Embraer for shorter flights and then the uh, 737 for the longer ones. Usually anything that's like an hour and a half or longer, we'll take the 737. And then 
the other one is for everything that's an hour and a half and shorter. It's usually that's how we did it this year at least. Last year it was all 737. Besides one flight of ours was was on the other one. Uh, okay. Yep. Don't want to make that same mistake as the last time where we run into them barriers. You must turn. Whoops, I forgot to turn. Hey, well, there's a horse there. Sorry, Mr. Bus. Oh, I think we nicked him with the trailer. Yeah, we did. I think we did. I tried not to, but... What are you going to do? There's another small little town on our way here. Motel. Love it. I like that sign. That's a cool sign. Here we go. More road construction. Man, there's a lot of towns. A lot of these towns doing some some road work there. What are you going to do? There's a vehicle behind us. A couple of trucks there, too. It's nice. Very nice. Try and get over here, but man, it's a wide load. This trailer definitely needs to be. I wonder where this trailer came from. I feel like it's a Jazzy Cat mod, but I feel like if it was, that he would at least have had the oversized load cards on it. But it just made sense. But, you know, maybe it's just one of those things that, you know, didn't make the cut. Which is fine. That is fine. 35 miles to go. We're making amazing time right now. It's insane. 35 miles. Holy cow. I did not think we were going to cruise this fast. Time is flying here. Holy cow. Holy cow. It's a nice journey, though. A couple of small towns along the way. Nothing wrong with that with this bridge. We'll overpass here. North to Lehman. Yeah, we're not going there. Nope, we are not. Yes, we are coming up over here, though. Alright, there's uh, another truck. We're not going that way. Lamar, here we are. Lamar. Here we go. That speed on work. How many? What time is it? Five o'clock. So not bad. Not bad on the timing. We didn't do anything crazy. We we're probably going to hit this way station, though. Let's find out. It's after five. Ah, they got us. They're still working. They're still working. Speeding violation. We're 12 over. What? Where was that guy? Lamar has been discovered. Ah, he was right behind us. Of all places. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 79,000 pounds. There we go. So I, we do know, though, if your truck is too damaged as you go going through the scales, you will get fined for that. So that is something that you do get fined for. Other than that, though, I don't think there's anything else that you could... The scales really stop you for. But here we are in Lamar. Lamar also has another garage that you could purchase. Look at that. It's back there. That is interesting. So many small towns. There's a lot of towns in Colorado where you can purchase a garage at. It's, uh, it's fairly interesting. Fairly interesting here as we come up into Lamar. Have to get over. 35 is the limit. Wait, whoa, what's, what, where did that damage come from? What? Visit service, 8%. 15%, where did that all come from? 16%, whoa. We're getting stuck on like some boundaries or something here. Like, what is going on here? Holy cow. What is, uh... What is going on there? I didn't think we were, were that close to hitting anything, but whatever. Some weird boundary box issues going on there. Trying not to hit these vehicles here. Whatever. Hopefully there's a service shop around. <laughs> That's the hope, huh? We'll have to check that out later. 
Oh well. I, I feel like there isn't in this town, which would be not good. But like, look at it. I'm like in the same spot I was last time, and we're fine. It's, that doesn't make any sense. The boundary boxes, they'll get you. Oh, that guy. Hello. How you doing? He's waving around. Man. Such a nice truck. I like the gas. Gas price is changing over there. Oh, they got credit, cash. Uh, though I think they got them backwards. The cash one's always cheaper than the credit, and they've got the credit higher than the cash. So that one is, uh, that's interesting. Good thing I caught the light just in time there to see that blooper. All right, here we go. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully there's a service shop around. Otherwise, we're going to have some fun uh, on our next journey. On our next journey. All right, you're turning, so am I. There we go. I don't know why we couldn't go straight there. It's interesting. A lot of uh, a lot of industry around here. I mean, it's kind of nice that we're going down these back roads. I guess less traffic. Don't have to worry about hitting anybody. Plus the light was green, so it worked out. Gotta take this one a little, a little cutsy dutsy there. Not like we should have. Here we are. They're open 24 hours. We're not going to Walmart. Did Walmart ask for a tractor? That would be funny if they did. Doing some renovations. That's what. I'm a little disappointed that we damaged the load, though. That's uh, it's frustrating. Especially when I don't think it was my fault. You know, normally I'm like, hey, that's my fault. That was not my fault. That was more of a, a boundary box issue there. That caused uh, that issue. Oh. Oh, I was going to go. Can I go? Where is that car going to... This guy's going to want to turn. Dang. I tried. I tried to sneak in there. But it just died. Now we're good. Now we're good. I tried to sneak one in, but uh, traffic was like, nope. I am going. Which is your very right. Oh, engine. There's the engine malfunction. Alright, we're back. Oof. Good. All good. There we go. Come on, with that tractor. Maybe we're uh, replacing that tractor with this tractor. Nothing wrong with that. There we go. Round the bend. And there's the farm. Wonder where they're going to want her. Wonder where they're going to want her. Looks like this is all farmland here. Must be their house. What do we got here? A... He's something. ADM. ADM. Where do you want her? Oh, looks like they want her barked right there. Wow. Okay. Um. Well, we can't do that. I was thinking we could, uh... Hmm. I was thinking we could just pull up here and, uh... Back her in, but... That's, uh... It doesn't look like that's gonna be, uh... The play. Oops. Sorry. You guys didn't see anything. Didn't see anything, that's for sure. We could I don't even know if we could, uh... This'll be fine. This'll be fine. We can just get this guy... Zipped around like so. This will be an interesting one. There we go. There 
There we go. We're, I think we're, that's good. Don't go too fast. Alright. Turn on our, our hazards here. One of the things, so we, uh, our last charter bus that we had, so we usually get charter buses when we, uh, after we go to these towns. And, uh, when we were backing up into, like, certain areas, one of the bus driver would, uh, would honk his horn before he started backing up. He'd, like, kick the reverser on, and then he would honk his horn before he started backing up. I was like, that's interesting. That's interesting. There we go. There you go. Oh, starting to lose her. There we are. Starting to lose her there, around that corner. Alright, this will be good. This should be the last... Last time we got a backer up and forward. I just didn't want her to get too close to this building, you know. With how wide she is. That was all. Eh, hopefully. There we go. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oof. Getting in that. Getting real close there. There we go. Wow. She's close. Oof. Look at that. Well, we did it. We damaged the truck. We damaged the trailer. Uh, we damaged that trailer, but nobody saw, so we're good. So nothing happened there. But that's going to do it for us uh, this time. We got to Amar. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time with some more trucking with iVision. Vision. Uh -huh.